Regardless of how often we stress it, this fact remains true. Rideshare is a dangerous way to interact. Whether you are a driver or a passenger sitting in a vehicle, you're dealing with a stranger on every single trip, every time. And this is one of the most egregious examples to date of why it is very important to always have an idea who you are in the vehicle with. What up, folks? Once again, it is indeed your boy Tim with another ride-sharing video. I've never seen anything like this, but I want to make it clear. Whether you're a driver or a passenger, identifying the individual you are with is incredibly important. Michigan man who confessed to murders, rapes, caught operating rideshare service on parole. Now, in this case, this is not an Uber or Lyft driver, but I'm bringing them to you because from a driver's perspective, we often talk about the value of having private clients. Private client means someone you're dealing with outside of Uber or Lyft. And of course, clients also often deal with drivers that are not operating on behalf of Uber, Uber or Lyft. Fact is, whether you're a private client or a driver of a private client, there's a hell of a lot of financial gain to interact outside of Uber and Lyft because the ride sharing companies take so much of the damn money. But here is something you expose yourself to. Yikes. Brian Coster. 67, who was paroled in 2021 after confessing to killing three women in the 1970s, including one he picked up while she was hitchhiking, has been distributing business cards with his telephone number and photo offering impromptu rides. MDOC spokesman Cal Kaminsky confirmed on Tuesday, MDOC, Michigan Department of Corrections. So here you have a murderer that is using his vehicle to solicit private clients. Wouldn't be doing this if folks were not getting in the vehicle. Here is how he was doing it. Cash up front or wheels don't roll. Reads the business cards which appear to offer a ride share or taxi like service without the scrutiny or regulation that taxi drivers or drivers for services like Uber or Lyft receive. Now, you can save a hell of a lot of money dealing with independent drivers or as a driver dealing with private clients. Two major issues. One, it exposes you to shit like this where you have no record of any significance of who the hell you're, at, you're interacting with. But two, the other one is the insurance. In a case like this, if you set up a private client and there's an, a serious accident and you're a passenger in this guy this guy's vehicle, the insurance is not going to cover your medical bills or anything once they find out that you guys have no knowledge of each other or anything like that. And believe me, they will. They will ask questions and figure out how did you two know each other, why were you in the car, things like that when you start filing claims. So you don't have any insurance coverage when you're riding as a private client in a vehicle like this. And the same for the drivers. For us Uber and Lyft drivers who favor getting private clients, yours truly, I do too sometimes. It, it, you know, you get paid a hell of a lot more. Uber and Lyft are taking as much as 70, 80% of some fares. So it makes sense to want to cut them out. But if you're involved in an accident, the passenger in your vehicle is not covered. If you are charging that passenger money, you should have some kind of commercial insurance. Uber and Lyft provide some bullshit insurance, but they do provide something. Your own insurance is not going to cover you for charging a passenger cash. You can try to lie in hopes for the best, but I wouldn't count on that being successful. Nevertheless, in this case, folks were getting in the car with this guy. But listen to this. Here is... What this individual done. Keep in mind, strangers were getting in the car with this guy. Coster was 15 when he and Danny Rames, then 28, raped and killed India Clark, a 19-year-old Chicago resident, and Claudia Bistrop, also 19, in 1972, 
after the women stopped for gas at a Kalamazoo service station where Reigns was working, raped and killed two women. Now, it continues on because this ain't all he did. The next month, Coster and Reigns raped and killed 18-year-old Pamela Firno after picking her up as she was hitchhiking. You remember your mom always told you never hitchhike? Here goes a perfect example of an 18-year-old woman that was hitchhiking back in the early 70s. It's been a different time and era, but hitchhiking cost her life. She got in the car with two men, raped and killed her. So this driver picking up private clients murdered and raped three women. Now, look, listening to how it's, how it's stated, sounds like he was, you know, in his late teens, 15, with some 28-year-old dude, and they're killing and raping folks. Now, you're going to get charged as an adult if you are guilty of a triple murder, and that's what it sounds like here. So the idea that he wasn't an adult yet is not going to really apply to somebody who's 15 years old, and you're raping and killing this many people. But fact is, he is out there taking trips actually out there taking trips after serving a very lengthy time for a prison sentence like this. Hear how it terminated. Because the first question you're going to ask is, how the hell does a person rape and kill three women and somehow they're out in the street taking trips? Here you go. Coster pleaded guilty to one count of second degree murder, but his confessions helped convict Reigns of four murders. Reigns, now 80, was released in 2022, Michigan Department of Corrections show. So both of these individuals, the 15-year-old and the guy who's a whopping, you know, 28, out here raping and killing women with a 15-year-old, both of them got out. Both of them did all of this crime, and they're both free murdered three women and raped them all. How do you do that? I know guys in prison for slinging drugs for the rest of their damn lives. I don't know what kind of privilege we're working with here, folks, but triple murderer, serial rapist, and there's light at the end of the tunnel? You actually have a release date? As I stated, folks, I know dudes who have spent they're gone. They're doing football numbers. They are gone. They're not likely to ever get out for selling drugs. You got three young murder victims in your hand that you raped all of them. That's some hell of a privilege, if you ask me. I don't know how that turns out. Now, obviously, 1972, the crimes happened a long damn time ago. I get it. But you're talking three murder victims. Michigan, I don't think, had the death penalty even then. They should obviously be executed. But anyhow, I just wanted to bring this in. I want to go too deep into crimes. It's just really astonishing that these men are walking the street now, even at even as senior citizens. How they got out is freaking amazing. But understand, when you jump in the car with strangers, or even as a driver picking up private clients, this is the kind of shit you can deal with. Now, in the case of these two individuals, particularly the driver here, um, the Michigan Department of Corrections, the parole board, they found out he was doing that and uh, basically stopped him from doing it. And both of them are likely on parole for the rest of their damn lives. I mean, you don't get out and actually have an end date to your parole, too. It's insane that they're out. But, yeah, the Michigan Department of, Rec of Corrections stopped them Stopped him, rather. The 80-year-old wasn't taking trips, but stopped him from doing this. But it got out all over social media. People recognized his face that was on the damn business cards he was handing out. Why would you put your face on the card? <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, you're lucky to be doing this. I get the fact that once you get out of prison, would a criminal record like that, where you don't murder and rape three women and did... 50 years continuous years of incarceration. Nobody's going to hire you. You can't get a job doing anything after going through that. So I understand why you would want to pick up private clients and drive them around as a rideshare driver. But as a passenger, you need to know who the hell you're dealing with. Anyhow, 
Have you seen anything crazy like this where somebody was taking a private client and you're like, there's no way this person should be able to take trips? Because some of them are probably on the Uber and Lyft platforms. Your boy Tim, feel free to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.